Hi everybody, we're here with Mary. Mary, you're the Senior Director of Marketing and Communication for United Fresh Produce Association, Thanks. which is really, really exciting. Now, the produce industry, if you guys don't know, have been through a lot in the past 10 years. You guys went from a commodities-based industry yes. to almost completely a brand-driven industry. Yes. And 10 years sounds like a lot, but it's not. Tell me a little bit, how, how is it going? Tell me a little bit about what's going on in the produce industry and maybe a couple of tips you have for our viewers. <laughs> yes, produce is very exciting and to your point, um, very new to the brand space right now. So there are the outliers, there's the Chiquitas and the Doles of the world we that have been them. branding for years and years. And um, so in the past decade, the produce industry has learned that if you leverage the concept of building a brand around your product, you can build trust with consumers, you can build relatability with consumers, and you will find that you have a better relationship with consumers when they're choosing a product over another. So that's you know a lot, but let's say I am a marketer, I'm marketing a produce brand. Yeah. What is the number one thing that Mary, you can tell me that I need to start doing? Because it's, it's nice to tell people that you're moving from this to that, but how to do it? What's your number one tip? Absolutely, storytelling. I can't hammer that in hard enough. Mm -hmm. And it's different for every brand, and there's different ways to tell your story, right? So great, storytelling, it's a big <laughs> word. We all love it, I yes. love telling stories, but how do a brand, how does a brand tell stories? You how know, do I do it? Yeah, so last year we heard, um, this quip and it makes a lot of sense, especially in produce. You all have a farm, you all have a farmer. That's not your story. That's not, not your story. Yeah. So don't tell that story. Find a different story. There's a differentiator that makes you unique from other products, whether it is um, the culture of your company, mm -hmm. whether it is the logo itself, what does your brand look like, what are the colors, what are the iconography around it. Something you and I spoke about, yeah. which is very important, you gotta decide who you're going after. You can't go after yes. everybody, and if you're trying to market to a 60-year-old lady or to an 18-year-old man, you're not gonna use the same thing, not even close, right? Absolutely, and that's the other piece of storytelling. So you have to figure out your story, and then you have to tell it, but you have to tell it to the audience in a way that's going to resonate with them, depending on who they are. So if you're telling your story to a mom, that's a different story than you're telling to, you know, the guy who's just doing his food shopping on his own for the first Absolutely. time. Absolutely. So tell your story, figure out what the differentiator is, and then figure out how to tell it to your different audiences. I love that. So we've talked a few weeks ago about this mm -hmm. initiative you have that I love. It's called Brainstorm. And it's almost like your brainchild. You really made this thing happen. <laughs> yes. So tell us something about Brainstorm that maybe we don't know. Brainstorm is happening February 2019 in San Francisco. Correct. What is Brainstorm? So Brainstorm originally was created for the fresh produce industry to give them a marketing education on how to elevate their brands. Now that we're in this space, we gotta learn how to do it well, and we gotta learn how to do it better than everybody else. Mm -hmm. So we created Brainstorm four years ago. Uh, it has since grown. We're very excited about it. And we set ourselves a couple of rules on building the education. And the biggest one is that we don't want to learn from our, each other. Ourselves. I love that. Excuse me. I love yes. that. You guys are going outside of your industry yes. to bring experts to understand how things have been going on in other industries. Correct. And it's not just food, right? We're in San Francisco. Think about the number of brands in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So anybody we can learn anything from about building a brand, um, even taking a historical brand and rebranding yourself, mm -hmm. retelling that story, making it relevant in 2019. That's what we're doing Brandstorm, and Amazing. it's very exciting. So everybody, you should look at Brandstorm, you should look at Mary and all the great things you do for United Fresh uh, Produce Association. Thank you. And it's coming up. It's in February in San Francisco. And we'll have some information for everybody if they want to come and see you. And you're going to emcee the event, correct? I will be there. I'll be emceeing. And I hope you'll join me in San Francisco. See you in San Francisco. Bye.